Hi, I'm Tommy Emmanuel here for Riff Rundown. Sounds like something we'd say to a dog, doesn't it? Riff Rundown. Here we go. <laughs> it's good to be here. I'm in the beautiful Artisan Guitars in Franklin, Tennessee. And uh, what I want to show you today is some um, ideas that, I, that uh, come directly from Jerry Reed's The Claw. A lot of people love that song, and uh, it's actually from the 60s. It's, a, it's quite an old song, but it has so much funky goodness in it, you know. And um, so I, I kind of took the idea and made up other rhythms using Jerry Reed's original idea. His, uh, his original idea. There it is. So you, that's actually the groove of it. So now I'm going to slow that down so you can work out how to play that. And then you can use that and, and sing over the top of it, you know, um, whatever, Working Man Blues or something like that. So it's... That's the thumb, and then the hands, the fingers are going. We'll do it in D. A. Now there's a good variation on on that that. I used to use, uh, at the end of uh, Lady Madonna, when I used to play Lady Madonna as the last piece uh, in, a, in a kind of montage of Beatles tunes, I used to go into this kind of honky-tonk, funky piano thing, which sounds like this in tempo. Uh, uh. If I slow that down, what I'm doing is I'm going with my thumb and I'm going Just take it up in tempo So, and I used to do variations on that. I'd go, uh, I'd come up here to the 12th fret and go. And that's not for the faint hearted girls and boys. You know, getting up there and then getting back here accurately, you know, you've got to have a clear mind to do stuff like that. So, so that's the, that's the, um, the, the kind of riff that I used to use at the end of Lady Madonna. And there's another variation on that I could show you now, which is a little bit like what Leo Kotke used to do. He had such a funky way of doing these kind of patterns, uh, better than anybody I've ever heard. But there's a pattern that, that I really like. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. Uh, there it is. Right, so the hands are going... the bass is going I'll, sh I'll slow that right down for you now that I've figured it out so my hand my thumb is doing That's a really cool sound, you know. If you're playing a tune and you you want to do a little breakdown in the middle of it, you can just go into that, you know. I'm trying to remember where I where I used to use that. It was somewhere. Um, it might. I, I think when I play the claw.
see how well that works in the context of the song. It really works well. It, it kind of turns the beat around and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's the claw, and then... If you go back and listen to some of Jerry Reed's earlier stuff, you'll find he uses that pattern a lot, and he uses it when he sings over the top of it as, as well. Um, and uh, st stuff like... These things here are quite complicated and you've got to practice them with, with a metronome to get them in, in the groove, you know? Yeah. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.